while doing different variations in training, uh, especially in strength training, one of the components that a lot of athletes and coaches neglect is the eccentric uh, phase. Uh, in jumping, in sprinting, running, there's always a uh, eccentric, a isometric or amortization, and a concentric phase on a single leg support. And so in that also, in jumping, obviously that gets expounded even more because of the fact that there's more force or negative acceleration into the ground. So that eccentric amortization or isometric and the concentric becomes even more exasperated. So in training, you have to go through phases where you're doing eccentric training. So the drills uh, that we'll show will kind of show that. So here, the athlete's doing a double leg uh, um, squat jump with dumbbells. And with the dumbbells, it takes direct spinal loading off the spine for the athlete. Here, the athlete is doing a, um, um, a negative, which is working on the uh, eccentric component of going down into that with the hex bar. Again, another one that takes off a lot of the spinal loading. In this next one, the hex bar drop, this is a lot more dynamic. So the athlete will drop into it. So they're going to catch from a standing position into a quarter squat position. They're catching and really using that eccentric. So those are some of the forces you're going to see, especially in the triple jump, when they're dropping into, um, into that uh, single leg support. Um, here's a Kaiser eccentric calf. Uh, the athlete is in a uh, toe raise position and for time and as we're putting more pressure in, the athlete holds for as long as they can. Um, we usually do these for uh, 15 seconds and we'll just keep adding weight uh, as in regards to air pressure and the athlete will resist it. It's a nice uh, eccentric uh, loaded exercise. Another great um, you know, very specific uh, exercise for the athlete. Here, this isn't as much an eccentric, but a really good um, full chain kinetic exercise. This is a knee drive using the Kaiser machine again. Again, hip position is, is key, really driving the knee, being in nice position, um, being able to fire off. Here's a low box drop. I usually like to couple these, um, use them with uh, what I call um, supersets. So we may do the negatives with the hex bar and then follow it up with just a medium drop, nice catch uh, position. Um, this is something I like to do after doing um, split j squats and so forth. We'll do bungee jumps like this. I call that, um, it's during the eccentric phase where we're working on eccentric. It's a nice explosive, explosive exercise. So the athlete will do these, which is called the split squat into a double. So they'll work on the negative and the split, uh, usually five seconds. They drop down as they're going down, really working on that eccentric. Then they'll double load up into a double so they can push back up. And we're really working on the eccentric, even though they're getting up into that squat position back again. It's really working this negative and this eccentric position there. And then after that, we would do those split bungee jumps like you saw in the previous uh, kind of exercise. And this is just an example of some eccentric exercises for the athlete so you can work on that.